Hello and welcome to my student today's lectures. We are going to learn the points preparation of aldehyde or ketones. The last times we have seen we have prepared the aldehydes or ketones by using forage reagents like PCC, pyridium chlorochromate. Now, today's lectures we have see the preparation of aldehyde and ketones by using alkynes, hydration of alkynes, hydration of alkynes. For example, these ethines can treat with in presence of water and 20% HPSO4 and 1% HGSO4 mercuric sulfide then what happens? This ethyne, that is a carbon carbon triple bond, ethyne can treat with the water. Then those water can add in triple bond, triple bond is convert to the carbon carbon double bond, as like in all. C double bond C, then OH, then this H. Right? And this is the H. But this water molecules, one of these OH is here and one of these hydrogen are there. Like this, so total water molecules can add in triple bond. This is an enol compound. And you know that enols are converted to keto. Keto are more stable. Therefore, keto in our top meridian as like this hydrogen are come to here and two bonds. The molecules are CS3, C double bond O, and then H. And hence, we can add the water molecules in triple bonds to what the product is aldehyde. Similarly, now we have seen one more examples like this is propyne propyne those propyne can treat with similarly hydration 20% sulfuric acid and 1% the mercuric sulfate 1% mercuric sulfate then what happens? The water molecules can add and to what the product are as like the CS3, C, double bond C, H and then OH. Right? Then product will be formed but according to the Marconis addition can take place for those reactions and therefore the negative part of these reagents is attached to the less number of hydrogen atoms. It is a one hydrogen but these carbons there is no hydrogen like zero hydrogen. So OH is attached to these carbons. Right? OH attached to these carbons and this is hydrogen and then after keto in our tautomerism it means these hydrogens form double bonds and the products are ketones CS3, C double bond O then CS3 so in presence of ethyl the ethyl hydration periods aldehyde 
and propyl which are hydrolysis to give us ketone similarly one more examples now we have seen are here slide the unsymmetrical alkynes we have seen water additions 20% H2SO4 and 1% HgSO4 therefore these water molecules can add at only which carbons both carbons they will have same number of hydrogen atoms and therefore any one carbons this OH that negative part will be added so in all like CS3 C H double bond C then OH and then CS3 then after keto we are talking the it gives the ketones like these hydrogens are come to this position how this is and then this so product is CS3 then CH2 C double bond O and then CS3 so such a type of reactions will be there by hydration of the alkynes so next type of reactions also we have used by anti marconic addition reactions like by using the propyl so propyls can treat with hydration using hydrogen peroxide in presence of NaOH and as a catalyst is di isoamide boring di isoamide boring and therefore the anti marconish addition of the water to the triple bond having the more number of hydrogen atoms their product will be CS3 C then H double bond COH and then H and then keto in our tautomerism we will use the product as like CS3 CH2 C double bond O and then H so aldehyde has the products by using the catalyst diisomyl boron now next type of reaction we have going to discuss as the grignard reaction or grignard reagent grignard reagents and those reagents can add in ester to what the product will be as aldehyde the product is aldehyde so now we have seen the reactions of aldehyde by using sorry aldehydes can prepare by using the esters and like CS3 Mg Br and the green art methyl magnesium bromide they can add the ethyl formate ethyl formate by using this dry ether dry ether then what happens those CS3 minus magnesium and minus which attack on this carbonyl carbon and what is the replace OAT so what is the product HC double bond O then CS3 this is the product right so such a type of product will be 
period of days, but one step is more for formation of the intermediate as like H C double bond O O C two H five O N G B R C S three. So this type of complex will be there, and then this O minus N T plus P R minus. This O minus can reverse. And replace O E T minus. So O E T minus is replaced. So what is the product? Product is H C double bond O then C S three, right? So in presence of ester, the one mole of, right? In presence of esters, one mole of lignite reagent is add, added. That time we will we'll get the product is. Aldehyde, that is acetaldehyde. Similarly, if excess excess Grignard reagents we have add, that times the product will be obtained as the primary alcohols. Product is obtained as primary alcohol. Similarly. These Lignard reagents like CS3 magnesium bromide can add to the ortho esters, ortho esters like CS3 C, OC2H5, O. C two H five O C two H five, right? Then what happens? This C S three M G B R will attack on this carbon, but such a type of reaction also take place at dry ether. Dry Then this CS three MgBr is attacked on this carbon and replace one of this ethoxide, right? So product is CS three C O E T O E T O E T means O E T ethyl E T means ethyl O E T and CS three. Then these products, which can hydrolysis, hydrolysis, acid hydrolysis. Then you know that acid hydrolysis. Did you know ester is converted to ether? OH, right? OET is replaced by OH. So CS three C OH. OH and then CS3. Okay. And last step minus H2O. So this OH and then this one of this hydrogen. So remove water molecule. So product is CS3, C double bond O, and then CS3. So product is ketones. Therefore. In Grignard reagents are used in ortho esters. Then product they will be obtained as like the ketones. Now, if other Grignard reagents are used as like this is CS three CH two Mg Br ethyl magnesium bromide. If Those other Grignard reagents are used. Then, what will be type of product are obtained as like this CH two CS three is as CH two CS three, right? Similarly, this CH two CS three is replaced by the CH two then CS three, and similarly, other side they will be. C 
CH2 CH3. So what is the product? Product is 2 butanol. 2 butanol. Right? So these reactions can be done with the help of Wignard reagents. With the ester. Next reactions. Now we have see Rosenmund reduction. Rosenmund reduction. Rosenmund reduction. It is the name of the scientist Rosenmund. The scientist argues reduction of acid halide. Acid halide to aldehyde. Acid halide to aldehyde. It is the selective reduction. Only acid halides are converted to acid aldehyde. Acid halide is converted to aldehyde. But such a type of aldehyde can be prepared by reduction of acid chloride to aldehydes with the help of the hydrogen gas which is boiling with xylene as a solvent and in presence of palladium are the catalyst which is support for the deactivate support palladium catalyst support as barium sulfate and this barium sulfate acts as a poison but which can be deactivates the catalyst and it prevents the further reduction of aldehyde into alcohols and therefore such a type of reactions now we have C is here so H2 palladium as a catalyst in support barium sulfate. So such a combination of the reagents are used for the reduction of corresponding acid halides to aldehyde. So now we have seen examples like this general reactions firstly. So this acid halides can treat with H2 palladium in presence of the barium sulfate. Then what happens? The hydrogens can be added to this as acid halides like R, C, O, H. Then H, C, N. The next step what happens? This lone pair of these oxygens can form carbon carboxygen double bond and remove the Cl. So product is R, C double bond O and then H positive charge. Why is it a positive charge? Because electrons from this lone pair of these oxygens can be given. Therefore it positive charge from the positive charge. And then after the formation, replace this Cl. Cl as a Cl minus right cl minus so this cl minus pick up the proton from this and neutralize the charge and therefore product is r c double bond o and then h therefore it is converted to acid halides to aldehyde right now we have seen other examples for the conversion of Acid halide to aldehyde can be done by using C Rosenmund reduction. Right? So, examples that is CS3 COCl by using Joe's catalyst H2 palladium in presence of barium sulfate. The product is CS3 C double bond O H. Okay. Similarly, other products H 
palladium in presence of barium sulfate those chlorine replaced by hydrogen right chlorine is replaced by hydrogen the product will be p double bond o then h but these reactions also reduction will be carry out if the hindered group must be there as like one more examples Okay. 